I feel like fish in our Christine, you can see the uh, ring down at the bottom where the bell is connected. around oak trees. It's just the most beautiful patch. There was a ring here before. Now there's this Bitch, I feel like fish in our
type of rasa known as a shrimp mushroom, sometimes from the rosy stem. Apparently, it's quite good. I've never tried it. I'm gonna try to make a positive ID at home, and uh, maybe we'll taste it if it is what I think it is. I wonder if these are from the same individual. Oxy caps are huge. that the original conch was growing on the tree when it was upright and then when it fell shifted directions to project its spores downward so this represents both horizontal and vertical life of this Thank you. 
try to feel like this, like. I'm a punk star.
send that out and I'm gonna bring this one home and maybe it's gonna be some fur and then see what to do with it. Came across these Amanitas. Curious about whether they might be a cobra or just a pantherina. Oh, already kind of destroyed. We know it's an Amanita, but we just don't know which one. I'm up hot style. December 20th seems a little late for mushroom foraging, but I'm out here and I found one golden chanterelle, the last one, but got a whole bunch of these winter chanterelles or yellow feet. You can tell because I got the yellow feet, but uh, the scientific name is Craterellus tubiformis. They're a delicious wild edible and we're going to make some food with them tonight. It's really exciting to be foraging this late in the season. I'm really happy. It's a little hut over it. It's cute chanterelle hut. Let me see. Very picturesque part of the forest. Yeah, this area is good. I feel like this is not a crater else to inform us.
<laughs> it's the biggest porcini I've ever seen. I hope it's still even good. I had to get it. I couldn't film it because I had to hop this fence and there. I could hear him shooting <laughs> like ARs or whatever on the property. So I got scared. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I gotta get this giant mushroom before they see me. But I got it. <laughs> I'm about to cut this up to see if it's uh, maggoty or worth saving, but first I wanted to um, measure it one handed. Maybe the largest mushroom fruit I've ever seen. Measured on this side, maybe. It's not perfect, but one handed measurement is so crazy. Stipe has never been disconnected at this point. It's grown together. This is a strange, strange.
Very nice mushroom. I'm honestly shocked at how clean this thing is. Like no bugs in it at all. Really cool, really exciting. These are the zero comas. I'm probably butchering it. It's a Larry, but. He's not in this like line. Along the tree, all the way up to this. Peter from Doug Fur. Ooh, they're not. They're different. Let's see. Very thick styped. This one might be good to eat. I think I'm gonna try this one like I used to. Never seen them look like quite this good shape. These large ones are too sloppy to eat, but I think them.
typical sites see a silver tuck on a log decomposing it. There's a probit, but let's hit this whole log over. Give us a sense of what it looks like underneath. The way they're attached. You can see the mycelium. side of this log. 